My breast cancer was diagnosed because of my annual screening mammogram, and there were some suspicious findings, so I had additional views done, and they found a tumor in my left breast. After that, uh, the biopsy was done, and it was determined that I indeed had cancer and would need to be treated. So the pathology report is pretty much what dictated what would occur. I consulted with a medical oncologist, a surgeon, and a radiation oncologist at Simon, and had decided to have a lumpectomy versus a mastectomy, at which time it was found that the tumor was small enough that I would be a candidate for a radiation oncology procedure called brachytherapy, which is internal rather than external. So that's what I chose to do, was to have the surgery, then have the brachytherapy, and then have the chemotherapy that was prescribed for me. The reason why you have the brachytherapy sooner is because you, it needs to occur while the cavity is still in your body and doesn't begin to fill up with anything. The cavity needs to stay there in order for the radiation therapy to have its effect. So you do it quickly, and you do it sooner rather than later. Brachytherapy means that these little catheters are inserted through the breast to surround the cavity of the tumor. And then there are ends out each side of the breast for access. So the process that happens is once the catheters are inserted and you heal for a few days, you go in every day in the morning and in the late afternoon, and you have two treatments each day for five days. What that means when I, it comes to treatment is you lay on a table and a machine that has a radioactive seed is pulled up towards you and then the radiation technologists attach the seed to each catheter and the process of the seed going all the way through the catheter inside your body and coming back out occurs one after the other for as many catheters as you have and I believe I had 24. It doesn't take long but it is a bit cumbersome because you have to lay there and wait. But it's interesting in a way, actually, because the, the only thing that you feel is just like a little whisper as it goes through your body and comes back out. You don't feel pain. You just feel a little whisper, and you hear a little clicking sound. It's a little bit challenging because you're going through a lot every day, including making sure that the entry and exit points are very clean. So there's a process involved where the staff takes care of it when you go in, but when you are at home for your resting period, that's something that needs to occur either by yourself or with a family member or loved one. So it's, it's something to be aware of. It's, it's an intense experience and it's short term. I chose it because it was short term. And I also chose it because I thought I might have less opportunity for exposure of my internal organs my heart, my lung, rather than have the beam therapy, it was very, very targeted, very targeted. I thought it was right for me, and it was. I would do it again. My OBGYN um, is the one who notified me when my cancer was diagnosed, and she immediately listened to me when I said, I, I want to go to Simon. That's the only place I want to go in St. Louis, because I knew that they would have the resources to give me the best treatment I could possibly get. So she did get me in quickly, and I didn't even seek a second opinion.